Hey, we're Naked Giants. And you're listening to Media Monarchy. James Evan Pilato here from MediaMonarchy.com. I didn't think I'd be in the van with Naked Giants, but here we are. They just slayed it at Pre-Funk Bar. Thanks for letting us into your house, you guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> you are welcome. So two summers ago, I go to Doug Fur because I was pretty jazzed on White Reaper and, and Ron Gallo. Yeah. And go and even actually even when I bought my ticket to the time the show actually happened and you guys maybe experienced this, White Reaper got bumped up. Yeah. They were when I, yeah when I went I was like oh shit they're the headliner now. Oh yeah. But they slayed it. Ron Gallo fucking skateboards and slays it. <laughs> and I caught and I caught you guys. Good oh. Glad and you that's and that. I caught the yeah caught the entirety of the set and it just. Oh. It wasn't full, and it wasn't like the reception wasn't good, but of course, yeah, there wasn't a ton of people in there yet. Right, yeah. And I remember it finished, and the one other girl like me that was super jazzed was just like, I, I think we just saw something fucking rad, like something special. Oh. You guys just came out like you were the head, like the headliners, and not in a cocky, like, not in a cocky right. way, but in the, co- in the confidence way. What was that tour like? Oh, that Ooh, was a fun tour. That was super fun. It was when we first met the Ron Gallo and White Reaper guys. And it's always good to be an opening band on a tour like that because you all get along and you hang out. And we were, you know, a little younger at the time. So it's kind of like there's the kind of old memories now. Not so long ago, but of just good old tours, you know. It's yes. a good one. So how, actually, how long were you with on that run with him? Uh, that was, uh, I think that was about two weeks. Two weeks? Okay. Yeah, it was pretty short because we just went down to Phoenix or something. Or no, we went to Denver. Was, yeah. We went to Denver. Okay. But I think like it was only in June. Yeah. It was just like two weeks in June. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. And that was a great, that was a really nice summer, you know. I feel like every summer I could, <laughs> I could call back on and be like, oh, that was summer a great summer. summer. Yeah. And you know what they call that? That's that summer feeling. Mm, it is. That's, that's that summer that's feeling. summer feeling that you want to try and always capture and recapture. Right. Oh, and you, yeah. you think you miss these feelings that feel fleeting, but really they've already flown. <laughs> They've already right? fleeted. <laughs> <laughs> They've already flut. So, um, so you guys yeah. haven't left my rotation since then. Really? Wow. Anything that, that the, any of the new stuff that's popped up, I've I've pretty much nearly played Damn. all of it. Oh, that's awesome. Um, Thanks. And it only I, it it struck me I re- remembered when I was just watching you that you guys are on New West. Yeah. Yeah. They're like my favorite fucking label of the last couple really? of years. That's great. Just really. You know, it has the Americana bent, right? But it's has obviously expanded past that. But like your fucking label mates with Nikki Lane and Secret Sisters, and right? Um, and not to mention like Caroline Rose and Ron Gallo. And Caroline Rose is here Richard later. Tom. Well, yeah. So I heard. Well, because the guy was like, "Yeah, this Spotify playlist is all the bands that are playing Tree for." And then I heard Caroline's song, and I was like. I didn't even know she was here, so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if she's here yet, but um, we'll have to go try to we'll catch try. her. I forget. They make a cool app. You can kind of check, really? make the checklist. There's so. so many damn bands playing this thing. It's crazy. Hundreds. There must be like a thousand just band members at this festival. Definitely. Easily. 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 And we were running around when we got you know breakfast earlier today. It was like, oh, this place is just hosting unofficial so there's even this sort of exterior, like tertiary economy mm. that that oh, works yeah. around the festival right. when it, when it comes cool. to town. So what, I guess what I want to what I want to ask, or at least what you like elaborate on. It seems fast that it suddenly, I you know, I'd heard of Nikki Lane and, the, and uh-huh. some of those cats for a little while. Like, did it happen fast? Are you are you stoked to be on it? Do you like on New West? Yeah. Um, it was kind of a slow process. It took us a while to get a label on our side but finally we worked it out with new west and released one album and that was kind of like our like we didn't really feel like part of the label then uh-huh. we were kind of just getting introduced to everybody uh-huh. now is that the more of the cassette stuff or is that slough you mean that's slough okay. yeah so it was our first album with them um and i think it was a little bit like we all were we hadn't we didn't know what it's like to work with a label we were all rushing into it we wanted to get the record out and now with some more time we're more excited to like work with them on the next album and to be on a roster of great musicians. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're super stoked about New West. So you're rocking the Secret Aardvark shirt. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah, we just ran into art. them. Can we go to the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you good? Yeah, they're uh, they have a booth here. Really? Three four. Oh, do okay. they? And they gave us a free yeah, sauce. Yeah. 
Because we saw them in another festival and they <laughs> They're Naked Giants fans, apparently, and we're fans of their sauce. It's yeah, good. They're really so nice. Yeah. So, uh, I appreciate you guys giving me the time. Oh, I, of I super appreciate it. I always ask bands, hey, what are you listening to? There it is. Yeah. <laughs> this is what we're listening That's to. That's the sauce. Hashtag not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> just oh, friendship. shit, the green. It's just friendship. It's all good. <laughs> See, the thing is, is that we would never sell out to any corporate <laughs> brands. <laughs> Can I yeah. uh, <laughs> um, I, I always like to ask bands, hey, what do you listen to in the van? But I can oh, I can see, see what listen you listen to, to in the van. Yeah, we just went to the record exchange oh, yeah. here in Boise. I haven't gone yet, we but some, we will. We oh. some new so, stuff. I got The Clash, Combat Rock, Combat Rock. and I got Was, Was Not Was, Was. Are You Okay? Oh man, I got two of my favorite Donald Neil Young Was. albums that's hard to find on CD. American Stars and Bars, On the Beach. Huh. This is kind of cool. It's like a what's in my bag, but it's right. what's in my van. I got Court and Spark, Joni Mitchell, Mitchell, classic. And then another classic, mm. uh, Stereo Lab. This is like a, a comp of Fuck a bunch yeah. of their EPs and whatnot. Because oh, I see cool. Emperor Tomato Ketchup right yeah. there, too. We're, we're building up the collection. <laughs> so they're on a, they're doing their reunion. I know. Run. I'm so I'm, excited about that. They're I playing never... Seattle in... Uh, October of this year at the Showbox. So They're I, playing Santa Fe, which is where really, my really. wife and I. So I, when I saw you guys in Portland, I, my wife and I had lived in Portland for right. 13 years. We oh, moved wow. to Santa Fe about a year ago. You did her Whoa. parent? Her parents lived down there, and we had to okay. get we had to get closer. Yeah, yeah. totally. So, um, the opening date on the like the American leg is at Meow Wolf in Santa Fe. Really? Oh, that's, that's, what the fuck? that's a wonderful <laughs> place for them to play. Have you, you guys have played there already? No. Okay. I, I went there on a trip with with my girlfriend and we like toured around the the, the installations. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. The house of eternal return. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's great. I appreciate you guys so much. Oh, uh, yeah, what's uh, where where are you heading to next? Uh, well, yeah. besides <laughs> besides the next set coming up in yeah, a couple well, hours. Yeah, we're playing uh, tonight again, but then tomorrow we play in Seattle, our hometown. Sweet. We're playing in Numos. Yeah. That's the first time we've been we play in Seattle for a while. Then we play Portland the next day. Where at? Uh, the Doug Fur again. Excellent. Yeah, but this time we're headlining. Fuck yeah! It's kind of crazy. Fuck yeah! Doug yeah, Fur is pound for pound my favorite club. Wow. That's where good, I saw my place. favorite. I saw my favorite shows while I was in Portland. There. Totally. Everything from you know from tortoise to cursive, or, yeah, yeah, totally. like that. The guys from Naked Giants, huge thanks to you. I appreciate right, you talking you. to Media Monarchy. Of course, yeah. Well, thanks for having us. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology, and the occult. All remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.